seen the last video and up. Tested the point on this, got a little bit of a bend, hammered it out, then took it for some more pierces until I broke off what I needed to. It's still got a nice, nice killing point, more than enough for standing power. Let's go over to the tree real quick. This is what the big one was doing to this. Still plenty of standing power. Okay, and that was a really light thrust. See the tip's got a little bend. And you'll see the bend is gone. What's going on is you got a fairly soft metal, and that's why it's durable. Machete metal is soft. It's a fine sword, I wouldn't take it up against armor. Now against armor. <laughs> This is my new button. See that? Take a look. Let me get out. What is that? Three cuts for? This is a better axe than an axe. Turn this around, we'll chop all the way through it now. Right here. See how good my aim is, because that's what's going to determine this. One, two, this little tip out the way here. This is the soft wood, too. Thin enough here. Yeah, I could probably brace this on something and cut it. Or break it. This is a good spot for it. The hard part of cutting through wood like this is getting a good spot to cut against where you've already went. This is not probably going to go as well as I want, but. So. What's that? Eight cuts to go through that. Not bad. See what it does on this target here. Give them a good view of what this looks like beforehand. Got our viewing audience, Pop Hood Sorcery. Yep. Look at the condition on this also. Before we start here, I want to show you something else what I say about stabbing power on a weapon. Look at this, okay? some stabbing power. There's nothing wrong with that handle. Nothing wrong with that uh, tip, rather. Now, cutting power. Got a good view of the wall. 